On this date in 1985, it was minus four. Which is pretty cool from Greenville. And I don't remember it. Uh, one other thing, they talk about rain starting Tuesday sometime and lasting through Saturday. So we got a rainy period coming. And uh, I guess Dave is going to speak to us about the geomagnetic storm headed our way. And with that, I'm going to pass it on to Al. KJ4YEB, this is K4VWD. KJ4VWD, this is KJ4YEB. This is Al, I'm in Gastonia, about 20 miles west of Charlotte. Talking on the DX 16 with no amplifier, just for the reserve for it. And it's nice and chilly here. Uh, it's got up to 38 degrees today. Got really cold last night, uh, but it's a pretty day here, so I'm, I'm not complaining. Uh, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to pass on to the John. So he's just going to be the baby. This is KJ4YEV. Okay, KJ4YEV. This is John Lee Lee. This is QMC on Fort Bowen. And uh, on Lake Norman, on the Morrisville side, about two miles from the exit. 33 of I-77 North, and the rig here is a Knight T-150 A, uh, got 261-46 screen grid modulated, driving a uh, Ameritron AL-1500, which in turn is feeding an AGK 5K a Power Star antenna tuner, which in turn is feeding ladder line to a, uh, a double extended zap. And um, so that's that's the setup here. And uh, it's cold. The, uh, <laughs> but uh, the sun is out, which means that my next door neighbor's solar array is tearing up my Power Star uh, 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 receiver uh, PR30 and uh, the uh, it's a good S9 plus uh, noise level. But most guys are coming through. I couldn't hear Brown W1 at all. And uh, also having uh, trouble with. Uh, Let's see, one other, I'm not sure who that was, but, uh, anywho, that's a setup here, and, uh, I'll pass it on, oh, back to Steve, N4 LQ and the grip KZ4B, over. Okay, thank you very much, uh, John, KZ4B and the group, N4 LQ and the old friends of that. Now standing by for a minute just to see if anybody else would like to check in. Call now. Yep, case for yours. All right, got uh, K3OS, Gary. Anybody else? That's not, so uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and get you real quick there, Gary. K3OS, go ahead. Tell us what you're running and uh, Welcome to the net. Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Steve. K3 OS up in um, Gary up in Hickory. And I'm on the Gonset Twins today. Just running barefoot. Let's see, what is it? What is the walk meter say that I'm actually running here? That's always fun. So look at that. And actually, it says 50 watts. Two watt meters are reading 50 watts. I can't believe it, but that's what it says. Anyway. Those of you guys, I, I came in on the tail end. I was at a, uh, a community band rehearsal this afternoon, which I participated in down in Newton. So I was just a little late getting back, and I've, I've heard most of the most of the first round. Uh, those of you guys who are coming in really strong, who are probably receiving these strong, are really great. And the other ones are okay, and uh, uh, I'm copying most everybody here surprisingly well um, <clears throat> today. So let me turn it back to Steve. He can, he can get it going on the second round. Uh, and 4LQ.
and the county at the last report was uh, 0.67. So, uh, pretty, pretty stable conditions at the moment. A few items from this day in history on this day in 1976, the Concorde made its first commercial flight. On this day in uh, 1940, Jack Nicholas was born. Anybody that follows golf certainly knows who that is. Um, on this day, 1997, Nick Gingrich became the first Speaker of the House to be given a formal reprimand for ethics violations. Um, on this day, 1924, Vladimir Lenin died. Um, and let's see, on this day in 1793, Louis XVI, uh, last Bourbon King of uh, France, was executed by guillotine during the French Revolution. And on this day in 1506, Swiss guards first arrived at the Vatican to be watchmen for the Pope. So that was a few things from this day in history. George, here it comes, if you can hear me, brother. K4 GDN, WA4LR. Oh, 